Okay, so um, I wanted to show you a couple of interesting things. So in general, I don't like uh, um, what are called TA, right? Technical analysis uh, discussions because you know you, most of the tools that people use for these kind of things are not very scientific. But uh, one of the best is actually the Bollinger Bands. Um, that is uh, the idea that uh, you can look at the trend and uh, um, determine the average and then look at uh, uh, the deviation from the trend. Uh, now, usually this approach doesn't always work, um, but a uh, few weeks ago, I actually, almost by a joke, uh, I draw this line, this uh, orange line. I had one orange line. This is my uh, liquidity indicator. I, I draw two lines, one for the general trend of the price that basically is very consistent since March, and the general direction of a liquidity model that seems to go up. Now, it's deviating a little bit from this uh, oscillating trend, uh, but it's you know, still in general going up. Hopefully, we'll correct and continue to go up. Um, but uh, the idea is that uh, we also have some other tools. We have this tool that is called the R's coefficient. Uh, this uh, R's coefficient, it's a special one that was developed for Bitcoin uh, and is based actually on power law properties that were discovered on Bitcoin, but actually by other author authors actually who wrote a paper called Chaos and Orders in Bitcoin's Market. And uh, they developed this very specialized R's coefficient that allows to calculate the quality of a Bitcoin data. And in particular, we can look at uh, uh, how much it fluctuates, how the kind of fluctuations, and from these, the, this indicator can in, uh, tell us in which kind of a regime we are. So it's an indicator that goes from zero to one, closer we are to zero, more mean returning the price is. And if we are farther away, closer to one we are, more trend following we are. And you can look, you know, uh, from this graph, and if you own the indicator, you know, uh, through our Patreon program, we share this indicator with the community. Um, you can see that uh, this uh, any time there is a kind of a kind of this was not I would not call it a technical a bull because the bull starts at a particular point of a cycle but it was a mini bull right we were going up pretty fast and you can see how the consistency of a motion up showed up in the indicator by the indicator being above 0 0.5 in fact climbing became in redder and redder so that means closer to one and so we for many months we had a clear understanding that we were going up and that up was a very consistent pattern and then more or less because it's a lagging indicator when we reach this top that by the way it was basically at the power law weirdly enough uh, it's simply because you know if a power law is true the price doesn't want to be too close to the power law uh, when it's not supposed to be because uh, we are supposed to be closer to the bottom you know to the support line and then because of it, the middle power law is basically a compromise between the peak and the support. So most of the time we should be close to the support for two years and leave it and going to the peak during the bull market. So if we are going too far away when we are not supposed to be, the price will correct. And during this time, during this um, period, we kind of, you know, because it takes some time for the signal to realize that we're leaving this trend following situation and then finally actually it determined that uh, this behavior and you can even see with your eyes but it's a stronger confirmation because of the uh, analysis done by the indicator that we are in this trend following regime and we have not left the trend uh, following regime it's clear that we are still oscillating back and forth right and, uh, um, and so we can monitor even better by adding these Bollinger Bands because the Bollinger Band tell us, okay, there is a general trend. Notice how the blue line actually <laughs> follows my uh, line that I drew by high, but this is you know, more mathematical. 
and how there are deviations. We go all the way to two standard deviations because these two bands here are basically two standard deviations from the general trend, upwards and downwards. And you can see that in particular the downwards, almost all the bottoms that we reach were caught by this line, by this uh, um, two standard deviation line. And uh, and this one recent, you know, where we actually corrected and we got, went down, we were uh, kind of 60, you know, almost, almost 67, but you know, 66 something. Um, then it corrected, right, with this big sharp correction. So it's a really cool tool that you can add to your uh, other indicator. So it's okay to add existing indicator, you know, even TA indicator if it is useful. We are not against it if it gives you a deeper understanding. But I think this one is really helpful right now because it seems the price is contained in these two bands of uh, uh, two standard deviation around this average that seems to go down. So it's possible that there will be a further correction and maybe we even revisit. I know people don't want to hear that, but it could be a possibility we even revisit, revisit the 50s, uh, you know, like maybe the high 50s, uh, and the price will continue to oscillate back and forth until this proper line grows and goes above this one, you know, the white line, and we have enough liquidity for the bull market to start. You know, right now this is the best analysis that I can give you about what is going on at the moment. It's really interesting and there is a lot of uh, dynamics and information that we can use.